Service Dog. Sponsored by Modern Dog Magazine. In 1999, I joined the Marine Corps. The first deployment to Iraq was in 2003. We did the entire push all the way to Baghdad. I slept in a hole in the ground for seven months. There was probably shooting every day, bombs, you know, artillery, things like that. It was easily the scariest time in my entire life. He returned, and there was a definite change. The moment he stepped off the bus, he looked like he was in pain. I think coming home was almost worse, because you were able to take your mind off everything when you were over there. And you were with guys that were going through everything that was the same thing that you were. And you come home, and they're not there anymore. You don't know how to deal with it anymore. We came home, uh, immediately celebrated. We wanted to go out to have dinner. A waitress came up. I didn't realize she was coming. And you know, all she did was ask if I wanted a Coke. And I screamed and yelled at her. I think I flipped the table over. And I was looking for my rifle, sweating. Looking back on it now, I had my first flashback. And it just steadily got worse. He was aggressive and angry, and he was drinking a lot. I cut myself off from my friends and family. In 2010, when I was at my lowest point, I, I was on 32 different medications at that point, and I was hopelessly addicted. I had on top of that alcohol to try to sleep. He'd always, always had nightmares. When they're having a flashback slash nightmare, whatever the case is, they are deep in it. My wife had come down to the basement and give me an ultimatum that I had one more shot um, to try to fix all the problems um, that we had had. We were torn apart completely. And I'd never really thought about service dogs, but actually my neighbor had had one. And I think I'd asked him like three or four words. I basically asked him, does this work? I think he mumbled, yes. Canines for Warriors um, provides service dogs to wounded veterans that suffer from PTSD. Here's an organization that utilizes, you know, dogs that come from shelters. Canines for Warriors knew that I needed a high energy dog. Axel was pretty high energy, had a great personality. I knew that it was working because he actually woke me up from a nightmare. He's able to put his paws up on the bed or lick his face or bring him out of whatever deep sleep that he is in safely. He's brought me out of anxiety attacks. He'll watch my six out in public. When I go up to a counter, he'll turn around and somebody comes up behind me, he'll lift his butt up so I know somebody's behind me so it doesn't put me into a panic attack. So that's a really big one. Is that what he's doing right now? He's watching my back now. He's taking the place of all those Marines that I had watching my back and me watching their back. Axel is able to provide Jason with support 24 hours a day. He's completely turned my life around. Um, I'm able to enjoy my family again. I can't tell you where I would be right now except for six feet in the ground if it was not for Axel. Now I'm the national spokesman for Canines for Warriors. Being able to tell my story over and over again lets me get it out. It also shows other veterans that it's okay that you have PTSD. Axel is perfect caretaker for Jason, and therefore he's the great representative of what these dogs can do for veterans. We go talk at high schools and colleges, go on TV shows. We do fundraising for canines. That way we can get as many service dogs out there as possible. If it saves one life, then it's worth it. Uh, we've helped 178 veterans, and that means 178 dogs have been rescued as well. Here's this dog that was in a shelter, has helped a person overcome the stress and trauma, and now is achieving their dreams. Axel saved my life, he saved my family's life. He's accomplishing a mission that is saving lives. I can't think of another definition of hero.